Field two minutes to a proud father, grandfather, and great-grandfather committed to fighting for life. I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Florida. I thank the gentlelady for yielding. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to give voice to the voiceless all across our country and to speak out against the culture of death that has been per perpetuated by the abortion industry here in America. You know, our founding fathers enshrined in the Declaration of Independence uh, the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I thought it very telling that our Vice President when speaking on this very issue just the other day, only mentioned two of those unalienable rights. Only two of them. She left out life. I think she left out life because that's where, we've be, that's where we're at now. We, we talk about a culture of death in this community. We don't talk about life. One, our nation cannot sit idly by as a million unborn children have this life taken from them every year. Every year. This is advancing and normalizing this culture of death. Mr. Speaker, I'm, I'm grateful to stand before you now and celebrate the fact that this culture of death is turning. The Supreme Court Dobbs decision doesn't end abortion in America, but by placing abortion decisions at the state level where it belongs, voters now have a greater voice in shaping our abortion laws. But that doesn't stop our resolve at the federal level. Through, throughout my time in Congress, I've fought to pass laws that respect life at every stage, from conception to natural death, and support both mothers and babies, before and after birth. Earlier this month, I proudly joined with my colleagues in the House to pass H.R. 26, the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act, which simply ensures that babies who survive failed abortions receive the same life-saving care that all babies should live, should receive. It's amazing to me that we have to pass a law like this. And last week, I joined Congressman Alex Mooney to again reintroduce the Life at Conception Act, which recognizes the humanity and life of the unborn and ensures they receive equal protection under the 14th Amendment. Mr. Speaker, whether we take a child's life in the womb or we take it at first in Maine, that's simply geography. Life is our most precious gift from God and it is our obligation to protect the most basic of rights for our next generation without a yield back.